Yeah, man, what's up, my purples? Welcome to the black hole. My name is Bless Beats. It is a Thursday. It is another time for some investments news. The segment where I highlight things that I find interesting that's going on in the music, equipment, and software industries, you know what I'm saying? And you know when something is going on around teenage engineering, usually I will put some coverage on that. So let us talk about what is going on today. The OP1 has turned 10 years old today. Congratulation! Does this make teenage engineering middle age engineering? <laughs> I'm joking, despite poking some fun out there, avant garde ways. It's all loving full banter from my side, you know what I'm saying? I've always been a fan of teenage engineering, or rather, the OP1, let's say that. Ingenious piece of design, yet incredibly expensive, but a lot of fun. Check out my OP1 B tape, by the way, Wanted, available right now. Put a link right here if you want to listen to it it is really dope if you're into hip-hop anyways i always had a lot of respect for this a small group of friends setting up shop in a garage and making their dream come true building something and making something big out of it you know what I'm saying? that's just what the op1 was it was the flagship product for teenage engineering and the one product that still is probably their strongest to this day so let us say it's had a really good expiration date. They wanted to build a product that lasts for 20 years and it's made it halfway there now. I've usually had good experiences with the people at Teenage Engineering. Emil, let me give you a big piece of thank you from my heart because really, you were the first one that made me feel like, yeah, I can do this thing. Apart from Knock Squared, you were the first one from a company setting that was really cool and open and uh, welcomed me with open arms. So, Emil Kullinger, I wish you all of the good luck in life, you know what I'm saying? Also ran into Tobias, really cool dude. It's really just a bunch of uh, cool people. Despite what you might think of some of the ways of how they run their busyness, they have those rich people by the balls, you know what I'm saying? And at the tip of the spear, what they're really acing it at is the design of their products. Enough blabber, come do some surfing on the on the internets with me. So to celebrate this 10 year anniversary, we've set up a really nice new landing page celebrating the OP1 anniversary. It just makes me drool a little bit. I wanted to put you onto this because there's a couple of things that uh, you might enjoy, you know what I'm If you're not getting an OP1, it's not on your roadmap right now. If it's impossible, if it's out of reach, you're broke, it's a Rona, it's all of that. You can't spare the money buying an OP1. Well, let me tell you, apart from the celebration, this is what I really want to highlight for y'all. Because a beat contest is always a good initiative. It's nice to have a mission, an objective, some reason to make some music and it's very easy to get going so you should probably take this chance and join this beat contest let us check it out there's only been one official beat contest op1 beat contest in the past organized by teenage engineering so this is a historical event here this is round two you know what i'm saying and good news you don't actually need a op1 to partake in this contest number one create your beat inspired by the op1 Essentially, this means do whatever the hell you want. Number two, share it to the world. Any digital platform, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, MySpace, Grindr, and use the hashtag 10YearOP1, 10YOP1. Submit it and I will have you know that you have quite some time to be the winner right here because the, the applications open on April 21st and they close on May 21st. Then you are done and then you win. This, good job, congratulations. First place, all of this and a sweatshirt. Second place, OPZ, OPZ protective soft case and a sweatshirt. And third place, three pocket operators, three cases for the pocket operators and an anniversary sweatshirt. It's gonna be judged by no such thing and Tala. I've never heard of these people, but I will check them out. Do your best to be inspired by the OP1 and just take the opportunity to make some music. This is one of the core reasons we have the weekly beat challenges in the Discord, in the black hole, because it just gives you a reason to make something. And it takes care of writer's block 
It makes you get out of your comfort zones, experiment new things, get some feedback. It's just a great experience. So I think they're making good use of this as you know, apart from just making it a p p p p p p publicity event, they're highlighting the community and involving it, <clears throat> which is something that I value pretty high. You know Ever returning question, when is the OP1 coming? The OP1 is probably never going to come. I mean, this would be a, such an easy money grab. So many, they could launch another flagship product same expensive even a little bit more expensive than the op1 make it a lot better and uh, people would line up for pre-orders but that is not their creative vision right now and they're following their heart and vision at least i hope and you got to respect that i have a lot of fine memories with the op1 i cherish the day that it was born i think stizo is probably my number one rapper of the op1 he has like five of them and he is just a hardcore congregation to teenage engineering for once upon a time managing to establish a milestone in the history of musical gear equipments and design what do you think about this are you joining the contest are you finally giving into the gas let me know in the comments join us in the discord the black hole to meet a bunch of other lovely people into beat making and again check out my beat tape 100 percent op1 Wanted. Okay, bye-bye.